Hey everyone, Tommy here, coming at you from a very sunny balcony on a perfect autumn day in Halifax. The weather's uh, nice and warm, but not too warm, it's nice and cool, so it's perfect pipe smoking weather. The last week or so has been so humid, it's been difficult to breathe, so breathing has been more important than smoking really. So yeah. I'm smoking my Big Ben, uh, Cambridge, I believe is the range it's from. Fantastic pipe, one of my favourites. Perfect for flakes because it's got a tapered ball, just like that. And today I'm smoking Jermaine's Medium Flake. Which I've been smoking this quite a lot recently. Um, cracked it open the other week after seeing D Social D's video. If you haven't seen his review of it, you should head there. Um, he does a lot of great reviews. You know, he uh, tells it like it is. He doesn't uh, dress things up. If he doesn't like something, he'll just say. If he does like something, he'll say, and he'll tell you exactly why. Good reviewer. Um, I think he's been doing these videos around about for about the same time as I have. We've sort of come up together. So yeah. And this stuff is what I want to talk about. I've had about six or seven bowls of this so far. Not today, I'm not a madman. Um, but just in general. And I've got to say, it just gets better and better for me. Um, it's about medium strength and all natural flavoring, flavorings, no jiggery pokery with chemicals or additives or anything like that. But it does have a natural sweetness, kind of a, a bit of a tangy, orangey taste to it. Um, which not everyone's going to appreciate but I quite like it it reminds me more of like orange zest than actual oranges it's more of a just a back note it's not a flavour as such it's just a bit of a back note that's there and I'll show you a tobacco plonk this down a second show you the tobacco because Jermaine's calling this a flake, in my opinion, it's a bit of a liberty because I'll try and get, you can't really get a complete flake out, it's all sort of clumped together, you know, start pulling it, it all just tears away. It smells ridiculously good though, really nice, really nice, it's better than nice, it's, it's sublime is what it is. A lot of people um, go on about a special Latakia flake, which don't get me wrong, it's brilliant. It's probably one of the best Latakia blends available in the UK. But this, uh, in my own opinion, is better. Well, that, that's just for me, I mean by better. For me, it's a much steadier, any time of day smoke I can grab this any time of day or night and I'll enjoy it but I'm more of a Virginia man than a Latakia man so that would explain that but yeah it's absolutely sublime I uh, picked it up the other week I did a Yabo um, my smoking shop um, so I managed to score a couple of tins of special Latakia flake and I only picked up one tin of this um, because it's always in stock, it always seems to be in stock somewhere. So, I think I'm going to be buying quite a few more tins of it to uh, age and just to make sure I've always got it really because it is that enjoyable to smoke. My one criticism of this blend is that it is so easy to smoke 
and it is so consistent all the way through the ball is that you can get to the bottom of a ball without even realising you're getting close to the bottom of a ball and you'll go to relight it and then you're like oh no that's just ash um, but if that's the only criticism I can make of it then it's a good thing right I mean that is a good problem to have but yeah it's just fantastic it doesn't burn hot it doesn't give you tongue bite the flavour's always there all the way through it's not really strong but it's not really mild it's just all around it's just fantastic i could smoke it all the time but then um i wouldn't be smoking other good tobaccos would i if i were just doing that but yeah i'll be stocking up for sure but yeah so just a quick vid i think i'm gonna wrap it up there um but i highly recommend if you like your virginias because that's all this is, straight Virginia. If you like them, pick up a couple of tins. I think it's definitely worth it. A little bit more expensive than some other brands, but do you know what? In my opinion, it's reassuringly expensive because I've not had a bad Germain's blend. So, you know, make of that what you will. But anyway, going to wrap it up there. Going to go out for a nice walk in a little bit. So, if uh, the opportunity arises, I may take a video there as well. Because I'll be taking a pipe and some vacuum with me. So, yeah. So, it might be another video for me. <laughs> you might get a treat. So, yeah. Hope you're all doing well. I'll leave it there while I finish this off. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.